and welcome to part two of our coverage of the 2023 Platinum Racing Products GTR Challenge at Cootamundra Airport. In our last episode, we checked out the manual contenders. This time, it's the automatic and DCT equipped GTRs, the R35s. That's right, they use a dual clutch transmission. They're not an automatic. There is a difference. Now, here's a fun fact before we get started. Nine out of the 11 cars ran into the eights and the two that didn't only didn't because a mechanical issue cut their weekend short. And one of them has already run an eight before. Think about that for a second. Every single car is capable of an eight. That just shows how far the competition has come at GTR Challenge. Now, if you want to see any of these cars in action, you can head to Sydney Dragway on June 3rd for the Platinum Racing Products GTR Festival. You can get more information, enter your car, get spectator tickets, VIP tickets. You can pre-order your GTR Festival t-shirt. Just go to the description below and click on the link for GTR Festival. You can also pre-order GTR Hub Magazine Volume 2, which goes on sale at the event. And let's get all the YouTuber formalities aside. Don't forget to click subscribe down there. And while you're at it, why don't you join the Motive channel so you have access to exclusive content and a whole bunch of other stuff. But let's go, GTR Challenge Part 2. First up, Darren's RH8 GTR from Motorsports Mechanical. It runs a proven package of billet block with Nitto 3.2 litre stroker kit and precision 7685 turbocharger. Hypertune exhaust manifold, intercooler and V2 inlet manifold and it runs a turbo smart 50mm straight gate. Ross dry sump kit, mechanical fuel pump, Howtech coils and all controlled by a FuelTech FT600 to the tune of 1600 horsepower on 55 psi with some nitrous. A turbo 400 transmission transfers power to the Quaif LSD front and rear with billet axles. 15-inch Buddy Club wheels wrapped in drag radials with IDS coilovers put the power down. A full leather retrim and Motec dash modernizes the interior. Darren only got one pass in on low boost before the transfer case let go and he was a spectator for the rest of the weekend. The car has run an 8.9 at Cootamundra Airport before though. Next up, event sponsor Edgar from Pereira Motorsport in his R34 GTR. It was the car's first time at Cootamundra, but certainly not Edgar's, as he is a veteran of GTR Challenge. It uses the diesel RD28 block with a race-ported RB26 head with a Nitto 3.2 stroker kit and high-octane billet caps and girdle. It uses a Pereira Motorsport custom dry sump kit with Barnes oil pump. Precision ProMod 91mm turbocharger sits on a 6-boost exhaust manifold and blows into a Hypertune intercooler and V2 inlet manifold. There is a Hypertune radiator and cam covers and keen viewers will notice the lack of visible cam trigger. Edgar has made a custom one that is hidden from view inside the cam cover. Pretty cool stuff. Inside, you'll see the shifter for the Turbo 400 gearbox, Motec digital dash and retrim seats. Outside, there's a Z-Tune front bumper, 15-inch Buddy Club wheels wrapped in drag radials. Edgar did one run on wastegate pressure before the front diff let go while warming up for his second run. So, wasn't able to show the car's true potential. David Anton with his R32 from Dartone Racing used to be a low 9 second manual at Cootamundra but is now an 8 second automatic. RD28 block, 26 head with all the fruit, PIP engine brace, Nitto 32 litre stroker kit and high octane dry sump kit. A precision 8685 turbocharger sits on a 6 boost manifold with twin 45mm external wastegates blows into a Plasman intercooler and inlet manifold with Dartone Racing's electronic ITBs. On top is the new Platinum Racing product coils and PRP trigger kit and mechanical fuel pump kit, all controlled by a Motec M150 ECU. It makes over 1200 horsepower at the hubs on 50 PSI, which transfers through a turbo 400 transmission with Quaif LSD's front and rear and drive shaft shop rear axles. Buddy Club P1 wheels wrapped in drag radials combined with MCA coilovers put the power down. Inside is Nismo leather seat covers and a Motec digital dash.
Another GTR that has converted from manual to auto is David's R32 GTR, now known as Thor, from Croydon Racing Developments. The car is essentially the sister car to Glenn's GOAT 32, but automatic. Billet block with Nitto 3.2 litre stroker kit, CRD race ported head, and Ross Performance Parts dry sump kit. Pro Mod 88 turbocharger sits on a Hypertune exhaust manifold with turbo smart external wastegates with custom intercooler and Hypertune V2 inlet manifold. The engine bay was all custom fabricated by CRD and is a work of art. Turbo 400 transmission, Quaif front LSD, and CRD 8.8 inch rear differential with billet axles have to handle 1700 horsepower at the hubs. The outside is super clean with 15 inch T37s wrapped in ET Street R drag radials. The inside is also super clean with carbon buckets and Motec dash. A fun fact is that David's car is the only car to run in the 8th as both a manual and auto at Cootamundra Airport. An even more fun fact is that the manual setup is still slightly quicker and faster, although long term, the automatic package will end up number one. Imran's Mr. GTR is a proven streetcar monster, having done plenty of trips from Melbourne to Sydney and back and taken out the Roll Racing Workshop Challenge and running into the Sevens at GTR Festival. It runs a PR16 kit with Garrett G35,050s with TurboSmart external wastegates, Plasma Man intercoolers and AMS carbon inlet manifold. Precision Racing fuel system and MoTeC package, as well as their transmission upgrade, is there to support a little over 1,600 horsepower. Inside, there is a MoTeC dash and carbon seats. Outside, there is billet specialty wheels in gold, wrapped in drag radials with carbon ceramic brakes. A new R35 build from Precision Racing was Nathan Brown's PR12 equipped model. So new that he had never driven it until this event. The PR12 engine package uses a billet 3.8 litre crank and this particular PR12 turbo kit uses Garrett GTX 3576 turbochargers with turbo smart 45mm external wastegates and blows through Precision Racing spec intercoolers into an AMS inlet manifold. Precision Racing MoTeC package and fuel system provides 1300 horsepower on 50 psi. A PR12 transmission upgrade uses a PPG gear set, upgraded clutches, and a wave track LSD, and there is drive shaft shop axles all round. Being a 2020 model, the stock suspension works just fine, and this car has a ceramic brake upgrade and the billet specialty wheels are wrapped in Mickey Thompson drag radials. The PR12 package did what it was supposed to do on the car's very first time at the track and Nathan's first time driving it.
Louis is not new to Cootamundra Airport, nor is his car and number plates double barrel, but it is sporting a whole new combination from Croydon Racing Development. It used to be a 2.8 litre stroker with sequential, but is now billet block with Nitto 3.2 litre stroker kit and CID race ported head with Ross Performance Parts Dry Sump Kit. It still uses twin turbos, but now it runs twin precision 6870s on custom hypertune exhaust manifolds with one low mounted and one high mounted for better packaging. There is a hypertune intercooler, V2 inlet manifold and radiator, along with titanium custom piping and turbo guards on the intakes. There is a Platinum Racing Products R35 coil kit and it's all controlled by a CID Motec M150 Pro Street package. The car now uses the tried and proven Turbo 400 transmission paired with Quaif LSD up front, CRD 8.8 inch differential up the back and billet axles. Inside the re-trim is very neat and there is a Motec digital dash. Outside, Buddy Club P1 15 inch wheels wrapped in drag radials. There is a motive headlight duct feeding cold air to the turbo and a carbon bonnet. The car has made as much as 1450 horsepower on the dyno at CID, but being its first time at the track was slowly easing into it over the weekend. Next up, Ymir's Trimi R33 GTR from B2R Motorsports. Another billet block setup with 3.2 litre Nitto wide journal stroker kit, Ross dry sump kit, and PRP R35 coil pack kit. It uses a precision 8085 turbocharger on a six boost exhaust manifold with Turbo Smart external wastegate. Plasma Man intercooler and inlet manifold get the boost into the engine with a Link G4X controlling it to the tune of over 1100 horsepower. Turbo 400 transmission transfers power to the Quay front LSD and stock rear LSD with billet axles. BC coilovers and 15 inch T37s wrapped in Mickey Thompson drag radials transfer power to the ground. Inside is Motec digital dash and there's a nitrous bottle in the boot. Psycho32 from B2R Motorsports is now a veteran of Cootamundra, having first come under Bill's ownership as Strapped. He was sharing the driving with Wasim with the aim of resetting the car's PB. It uses the same RB30 block with RB26 head and Nitto 3.2 stroker, but with a Ross Performance Parts dry sump kit. There is Platinum Racing Products R35 coil pack kit 
and a nitrous kit with Link ECU controlling the combo. A Precision 8685 turbocharger sits on a 6 boost exhaust manifold with Turbo Smart external wastegate which blows into a Plasma Man intercooler and a stock inlet manifold. The Turbo 400 transmission feeds a Quaife front LSD and OEM rear differential and surprisingly still uses stock axles. Inside is one of the best custom retrims we've seen in a GTR with Motec digital dash in the centre console. The exterior is stock except for a motive carbon headlight duct and carbon N1 bonnet lip. There is 15 inch Buddy Club wheels wrapped in Hoosier drag radials with S14 brakes inside and HKS coilovers. The car ran consistent all weekend and chipped away at its PB while putting on a great show. again <laughs> I want to get for 86 man you, you, you miss this car don't you oh, I'm gonna build another one man oh, yeah, I could tell it was you that run is uh that was pretty good man 8753 well are you happy with that no, I'm very happy man one, six, well, what's yeah. the goal this weekend you reckon 85 85 yeah. gonna do it I'm gonna put a bit more power yeah let's get it done bro thanks bro. awesome man Uh, we haven't checked in with Javier this weekend from TRC. He's been going for rides, checking everything out. I've actually barely seen you all weekend because you've been in the I've pits doing interviews and ride-alongs, and I've been everywhere else. But, like, honestly, from what you heard and saw of this event on our channel versus being here, thoughts? It's an absolute dream. <laughs> R RB dream. I mean, I'm like a kid in a candy store here. I've been in R32s, 33s, 34s. We don't get them, we don't get them like this in the States, right? Yeah. With the Aussie power yeah. and RHM and just some of these cars are just brutal. Yeah. Brutal. I think me and me and Glenn use <laughs> the whole runway. <laughs> um, but it's been a blast, man. Honestly, the event that you put on here is is so special. Just the community, everybody, good vibes. Um, Thank you so much for having us out here, bro. Oh, we've been talking about having you here for a few years now. COVID ruined it. But we've already talking about we need this in America, right? Yep, 100%. It's going to happen, right? Oh, it's definitely happening. You heard it right here, right now. We're going to help you make it happen. Yeah, we're going to do a Cuda Mundra in Texas, even though it's called GTR Challenge. They want to call it Cuda Mundra. We can do that. So, The quickest automatic Skyline GTR at the 2023 Platinum Racing Products GTR Challenge was Edgar's R33 GTR from Pereira Motorsport sharing the driving with Mark Richard, as he also had his R34 entered as well. It uses an RD28 block with a Platinum Racing Products four-wheel drive adapter and brace with a custom 3.2-litre stroker kit and custom dry sump kit using a Barnes pump. A Precision 8685 turbocharger sits on a six-boost manifold and blows into a Plasma Man intercooler and Hypertune V2 inlet manifold. There is a Hypertune radiator and PRP R35 coil pack kit. The car uses a Howtech Nexus R5 with a Howtech IC7 digital dash and makes 1,350 horsepower at the hubs through a Turbo 400 transmission with a Quaif front LSD. 15-inch Buddy Club wheels are wrapped in Raiden Hero drag radials with S14 brakes inside. The Raidens obviously work pretty well as the car PB'd and took the win for quickest automatic True Street Skyline GTR. <laughs>
For the first time in GTR Challenger's 15 year history, an R35 was the quickest outright GTR at the event. Nathan Young's 2008 R35 Apex from Precision Racing was also a first timer to the event. The PR16 engine package uses a 4.1 litre billet stroker crank and this PR16 turbo kit uses Mammoth 6870 turbochargers with turbo smart external wastegates and blow-off valves, PR spec intercoolers and a Boost Logic 18 injector inlet manifold. With a Precision Racing MoTeC package controlling it all, it has made 1600 horsepower but is capable of more. The PR16 transmission uses a PPG gear set, PR clutches and wave track LSD and there is billet axles all round. Billet Specialties wheels are wrapped in M&H Racemaster tyres and the exterior has benefited from some later model GTR upgrades. Inside is stock except for the MoTeC C1212 digital dash replacing the entire factory cluster. that pass feel to you? Good. Pretty good? Yeah. Oh uh, look, I'm going to give you a little bit of motivation. Yeah. You only need to go less than a tenth of a second quicker to get the outright R35 record at Cootamundra because that was an 858. Oh wow, excellent. How's that? Yeah, good. Happy with that? Yeah, absolutely. Excellent, man. Cheers. Well, the winner of the Platinum Racing Products 2023 GTR Challenge, and Anna Skyline this year, it's an R35 Precision Racing Apex, by You've oh, done it. Uh, yes. You've taken it. 8.5, bro. He had to duck off, so <laughs> he was about to miss a plane. So, um, yeah, this is for him. Done very well, actually. First time driving the car. He'd never raced it before, so never launched it or anything. Um, but killed it, yeah. He was trying to get the GDR record back. I think we'll sort of... Very close. It was, it was, less, it was less than a tenth. Like, it was like seven one-hundredths of a second from the outright 35 record. Yeah, so he'd done well, but, yeah, no, it's good. At the end of the weekend, this was our top 10 for the 2023 PRP GTR Challenge. Nathan's car wasn't just the quickest outright, but the fastest as well. He came within 7 hundredths of a second of the R35 record, but his mile an hour isn't just the new R35 mile an hour record, it is the new outright record for all True Street Skyline GTRs and R35 GTRs. It puts him 7th on the GTR list outright, and Edgar and Wasim moved into the top 10 list as well. Well done to the guys from Precision Racing on a win at GTR Challenge. They were a force to be reckoned with this year, and there's a lot more to come from these guys in our Drag Battle and Turbo Smart Ultimate Streetcar coverage, which is coming up. Don't forget, you can see all of these cars in action at GTR Festival, Sydney Dragway, June 3rd. Get your tickets now, and we'll see you there. You're a bit late, Herman. Better late than never. Grand entrance? Absolutely. 11 out of 10. So I was telling Javier the launch. I, I out. I closed my eyes off the launch. It's just too crazy. <laughs> <laughs>